Inside Job Part 1. This is the new animated thing that's produced by Alex Hirsch. It's on Netflix. I didn't hear a lot of people talking about this show. I think it kind of was just like announced earlier, but like they really showed like the first teaser during their like geeked thing, right? Am I wrong about that? Or was it like Comic Con or something they showed the trailer for this? Inside Job is something I think is a great idea. It is a smart concept. It's a funny premise. It is something that should work because dealing with like the secret organization, the shadow conspiracy people, you know, the deep state false, whatever the hell you want to deal with, the fake, you know, just like the Illuminati, the conspiracy theory stuff. That's a great concept to turn that into a workplace comedy is a smart idea because there is something inherently good in that premise that is comedic and fun and it should work well. Sadly, Inside Job falls into the vein of a lot of modern uh, adult oriented cartoons where it just doesn't try to be original and tries to be the status quo. This is a show that is based, I'm pretty sure this gets made because Rick and Morty's popular and we can play with like outlandish characters and different concepts in that vein. And then we just like make the animation style look similar to that so we can do our own spin on that. And that's, that's fine. I don't think that's an issue, but I do think when you are trying to sell a concept and basically you are imitating something that's more successful, it never comes across as organic. Now it's not at like Rick and Morty at all. It's just, that's how it's set up to feel with, you know, like the curse words and the violence and all that stuff. It is inherently set up to go for that tone and it doesn't land. First off, like I said, I, I should love this show because I'm a conspiracy guy. I love talking and dealing with those things. I did an entire episode of my podcast dedicated to, you know, cryptozoic creatures like Bigfoot and the Mothman. This should be right up my alley. The problem is that it doesn't inherently do anything with that concept as opposed to building the concept around a joke. So it's like what it would be more like, okay, say the, the earth is flat, right? Like there's the flat earthers and that stuff. We are just going to put that in here and make it a joke as opposed to doing something with it. We are creating these ideas based on turning it into the joke as opposed to making it a part of the story which is weird and it just doesn't come across as like really well-intentioned feeling and it just it just doesn't work you know we are basing all of these ideas that we could play with on the premise of what if we turned into a joke as opposed to making it something fun or creative it just becomes a, a joke and that kind of sucks and i know it's a comedy and that's fine but there's a part of it that just gets like okay how are we supposed to take anything in this world seriously or have the people in the world be taken seriously if at every turn none of it makes sense and everything's just kind of like up in the air for randomness with nothing really going anywhere? It's kind of, it kind of sucks that way because I just think like we could do, I think more nuanced comedy or go for harder hitting jokes than just like, you know, the, the simple gut punch of just like making fun of this thing or like putting the light on this thing. And I wish we did that in a different way. But the, the fact that is, the fact is, the jokes just don't work. The jokes just, I don't think I laughed. I, I really just smiled and I'm like, oh yeah, I get that. I remember like hearing about that or like that's something I would put in there too. But then the jokes just don't really work and that kind of sucks. Now, as far as the lead goes, she is an interesting character. I'm not going to say Reagan's a terrible character. I just think... It's, the, it's a classic trope, and they try to do this thing at the beginning where we push aside, like, the arrogant scientist who's, like, distant from humanity and doesn't have feelings for people or the world. We try to push that aside and just, like, hey, she's actually trying to be better and the world hates her because of how she acts, and that could be a funny thing to play with. Sadly, it just doesn't work right off the bat. It takes a minute to get into that feeling for her, but you're just like, okay... Okay, <laughs> Lizzie Kaplan is doing her best impression of Paget Brewster. <laughs> I really, like, I thought it was Paget Brewster for a bit. I really did. 
and that's I, I guess that's cool but it's fine our other lead here is a guy named brett hand and he is kind of you know, like your pretty poster boy like a good university your white male who can make the world comfortable and that's a joke that's kind of like why he's brought on originally so he can be the face of the operation while the actual brilliant person behind the scenes does it and that's okay that's like that's a good joke as a way to introduce this character and they actually give him enough to do where he's dealing with like joining this society in this world and the you know anxiety that comes with that the pressure he feels to be liked and accepted by everyone they delve into those pretty good he's probably the most nuanced character because then the rest of like the supporting cast is just cliches and jokes you know like your hardcore military guy your sassy savvy internet lady your conspiracy theorist dad who also is an alcoholic it's just obvious stuff as opposed to doing the unobvious or the different which should be the case because we're dealing with you know secrets and conspiracies and cover-ups we should focus on like you know that side of things as opposed to uh-oh all of our jfk clones got out looks like we gotta get the guy that killed him to kill him i know it's a weird way to put it but it's just it's just so easy and i wish it wasn't so easy because there's a lot you could do with this comedy there's a lot you could do with this premise that just be more fun than just simplistic stylistic boring stuff that we've seen a million times before it's not bad if you are unfamiliar to the genre i do think this will work for you i think there are so many beats in here that work and can make you smile and if you aren't somebody who's well versed in like the knowledge of like the urban legends or that kind of a stuff yeah then there's stuff in here to enjoy but if you're somebody who was like let's turn this into a comedy thing it just doesn't work that way the animation itself is very strong it's fluid it is dynamic there is some money put behind this i am excited to say that it got a second season or like a part two coming up because i want to see what else can this world can bring i think there's a lot more to it that can come just sadly i don't think the jokes land i don't think the characters are interesting enough to keep me invested and the voice acting is it's standard for a show like this you got your regular voice actors you got your bigger names but the thing is i wish it didn't morph its concept because i think it's doing the easy route with it and that kind of sucks overall inside job just could have been a lot more there's so much more fun we can have in this world and maybe we'll get that but from what we saw at the beginning here it wasn't enough to sell me it wasn't enough to make me go yes go out and watch this i think you can enjoy this and if you're not thinking about it as hard as i do i think you can enjoy it but sometimes there's just a show like this that comes out that just tries to be of the time it belongs and like it's like yeah this is a show that would exist in 2021 because of the things that came before it that made this type of show successful and i just think this is going to be one that's either going to be revered by a lot or more likely just fall to the wayside and we're going to forget about it in a couple years which i like the concept i hope it gets better i will watch it again but sadly it's not that engaging and i i'm sad to say it's just painfully mediocre so inside job part one i am going to give a five out of ten now thank you guys for watching this review be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always you can check me out on instagram tiktok and twitter and i will catch you in the next one have fun stay safe good luck